Yoohoo, welcome back. As promised, today we are kicking off what I am calling our Super Festive London series of vlogs. I have been doing my research over the past couple of weeks, trying to devise a plan so that we can get those holly jolly juices flowing. And one particular location seems to show up in every list ever created for festive activities in London, Covent Garden. Covent Garden is pretty easy to get to from most places in London. From Canary Wharf, I took the Jubilee Line to Green Park, backtracked on the Piccadilly Line three stops to Covent Garden, and then proceeded to make the biggest London commuting error that I have made thus far. Covent Garden is one of the few stations that uses lifts instead of escalators to get passengers from the tube to the street. Well, not this passenger, because Michelle decided that she was going to be physically fit on this particular day. She looked at the queue of strangers waiting for the lift and said, I'll take the stairs. She also missed this sign. For obvious reasons, I decided to rearrange my morning schedule and grab brunch. The Black Penny is a small coffee shop style London chain that seems to care just as much about creating a positive community environment as it does about serving really good food. And the napkin note that was left on the board in front of me informed me that they just might have the best scrambled eggs in London. This was after I ordered my porridge. I love porridge because I'm that person. The land where Covent Garden's market building and walkway sit have had many owners, most famously Westminster Abbey, when it was referred to as the Garden of the Abbey and Covent. Over centuries, Covent Garden has evolved from a London city square hosting London's largest public market to the famous retail destination it is today, centered around the well-preserved neoclassical market building which was commissioned in 1828. Covent Garden was almost demolished in the 1970s, but once again, then our friends in London made a bunch of noise, saving another precious landmark, allowing us to take it in at its best at this time of year. The snow is falling down, I've been longing for this Christmas, when everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year is twice as special because I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter wonderland. Chilling by the fire as I'm trying to get your attention. Giving you a smile, I can seem to look away. standing in the middle of the square looking up at the 55 foot tall Christmas tree thinking the only thing that could make this more magical is if it was snowing. Yes, it snows in Covent Garden every day on the hour from noon until 7 p.m. Sudsy soap bubbles falling from the sky certainly upped the Christmas vibes. But like Santa, I really like cookies. I walked past this place about five or six times and I started thinking, man, this guy Ben must make really good cookies because he's had a lineup outside of his shop since I've been here at 11. So I went ahead and I bought some of Ben's cookies and I thought we could try it and see how it is. If you can't do a classic chocolate chip cookie right, you really have no business being in the cookie business. No? Ooh. <laughs> it sounds soft. It's crunchy on the edges and it sounds soft in the middle. Mmm, mm-hmm, 
This is a really good cookie. Wow. Soft, chewy center. Crunchy on the outside probably would have been better yesterday. And they definitely use a decent quality chocolate. I'm sorry, I just need a minute. Ben's Cookies, Covent Garden. Absolutely delicious. By now you're probably feeling like something is missing. Like all of that footage at Covent Garden, beautiful, but a little lackluster. And you're right. I was feeling exactly the same way last night. So I went back to Covent Garden. This time I took the lifts and I was overwhelmed with how beautiful Covent Garden looked all lit up. enjoyed this week's episode. Let me know what you think about Covent Garden at Christmas in the comments below. Thank you for joining me. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next week.